hair is so annoying, I apologize. Um, I'm going to start with this strand first, or this section first. So I can get you whatever you need. No, tiny thing little bar. Oh, that's right. I'm sorry, I forgot about that. So this, for the most part, is how I do pretty much all the hair on my girls. Sometimes, if I'm really impatient, I will skip steps, but you really don't want to be skipping any steps if you want to achieve a result like this. It does really take a lot of time and a lot of patience. So close to being done her hair. And I don't think I'm going to turn this into a color long. I'm going to speed color the rest of her hair. Of course, you can follow along if you would like. You'll just have to slow down the video. sure what colors I'm going to use. I was thinking I'm caught between either green or purple for the background and then of course have some orange accents because we've got starfish and seahorses and this cute little fish right here but I'm not really sure how I'm going to do it. 
So there's another half hour, so we're getting closer to the two hour mark. It's crazy. I don't even realize how long this takes me until I record it. Probably my favorite way to spend my mornings. So just with the quiet and coloring. My little man usually is usually playing his games in the morning, so he's usually pretty occupied. But Ever since he started freaking out when we shut them off, we decided to limit his game time to an hour and he would still freak out when we shut them off. So we've taken them away completely for a week, hoping that his attitude will change. If not, we'll probably go bye-bye for good. Okay, I'm going to switch back to the Peacock Blue and just kind of blend into that aquamarine a little bit where I need to. Um, if it looks a little bit blocky, you should probably blend it a little bit more. If it looks okay, I'd leave it. Okay. Then we'll go to our light aqua.
to fade some of these out a little bit more so they look a little harsh. And then we are going to switch to the powder blue again, which I have misplaced somewhere. Ah, there it is. Should clean it off. Actually, it's pretty clean. I don't think we've used it yet in the dark areas, anyways. I like it. <laughs> I can get you another one. Just give me a minute. Mm. Oh. You okay? Yeah, that people tea. Yeah, I got stuff on the floor. You gotta watch where you're going. Here, I forgot about that. And then after that, we've got about one, two, three, maybe four more sections. So I'm just going to clean off my powder blue now so I don't have to do it later. Oh, what's wrong? Oh, honey, what do you do? She see me. I got to show you. And she threw me, and she struck me, and she struck me, my arm, and it's struck. Well, you know what? You just leave the kitties alone, honey. I don't know how many times I have to tell you that. But I want pets. Oh, sometimes they don't want to be pet. You know, it's just like people, if somebody doesn't want to be touched, you can't touch them. You have to respect personal boundaries, and that goes for the kitties, too. Oh, but I try to slowly. It doesn't matter about going slowly, honey. If she doesn't want to be pet and she gets scared, she will scratch. Oh. Well, yeah, I know. You'll be okay. You go distract yourself. Kitty scratches don't hurt for very long. Well, I want to dad. Yeah, you can show daddy when he gets home. Okay, so now we're going to move on to this one. He's always a constant battle. He's constantly got a bunch of cats, and I believe that we adopted Lilo from um, our local animal place here. And I'm pretty sure that she was abused as a kitten, and I'm pretty sure she was starved too because that cat never stops eating. I don't know if this is hair, but I'm going to color it in his hair. And, uh, so she's really skittish and she's very timid of Carbon. He moves a little bit too fast for her and he's too loud and crazy. So she usually tries to avoid him at all costs, which usually results in him getting scratched if he won't let her escape. Switch to the aquamarine now. It's 20 past 12. I haven't heard from my husband. He'll probably be home soon.
Oh, you are fine. You do this every time, and I tell you every time, and you still don't learn your lesson. If you leave the cats alone, they're not going to scratch you. Stop touching, please. I always joke about how I was so blessed when he was a baby. He was like the best baby ever. He slept pretty much throughout the night. Um, just a really happy baby, not colicky or anything. And even at a year and two years, he was really, really good. And then three hits, and that's when it really started. He just does not want to listen to anything. He interrupts people, no matter how many times you try and tell him that he has to wait for people to finish talking. And mostly it's just more about a respect thing. He's got troubles respecting people and boundaries and such. I'm not sure where he got all that from, but I definitely plan on curbing that behavior for sure. I don't think it, it doesn't help that, um, he is the only baby boy in the family. We've got, I think, four, four girls. Six girls, if you count the step family. And, uh, so everybody kind of goos and gahs over him, and he just thinks he's entitled to everything. You come and ask me one more time, and you're not going to get it at all. You can be patient. That's another one we're working on, is patience. Okay, Aquamarine. I'm going to be super happy to get away from the spine here. It's a little tricky to color near. Switch back to the peacock blue and just kind of blend into the aquamarine a little bit again. And then back to the light aqua. This one, I'm just going to color again with the light aqua. And the rest, I'm going to switch to the powder blue.
Done. Oh, and there's my husband. Well, I think I could use a break, anyways. This is looking really awesome, though. Actually, while we're here, let's just quickly finish that off. So I left up with the Aquamarine, I believe, or at least it looks like it anyways. I'm just going to switch to the light Aqua. And just cover that in and I don't think I actually did my shadows here, so I'm going to switch to the End and Throne Blue. Marine, just a little touch. And then we'll go back in with the light aqua. And the powder blue. There we go. Alright, so let's move on to our next section. I'm going to clean off my powder blue. I do apologize if there's mayhem in the background. Um, my husband and my child are both here still, so at least I will try and keep it down while I finish recording, but... They are boys, and boys tend to get very wild, so I'm just going to take my powdered blue and I'm just going to pretty much just put a layer of color down on this whole huge section here. So, I'm going to start up top with this section right here. Okay, starting with the light aqua. Mommy. What's up, kiddo? Oh, that's very nice of him. Okay, once we have that down, we'll switch to the aquamarine. I 
which I probably should sharpen mine, but I really don't want to yet. Are you want note, Mister? Next, we'll switch to Peacock Blue. I think what I might do for this one is I might just find a color palette that I like that has blue and orange in it, and I might try and use that. And then we'll start really putting in our shadows. Firm pressure, not completely burnishing the page. Just realized I've forgotten about this little piece, so I'm going to go back through with aquamarine and then peacock blue and then Indian throne blue. There we go. Just to kind of match the color up a little bit. And then we'll just start going back in through our colors.
I'm gonna go back in with the Indian Throne Blue on this one just because I feel like I didn't really get a deep enough shadow here. The deeper your shadows are, the more your highlights will pop out. That being said though, you don't want your shadows to overpower your highlights. So it's gonna be kind of like a fine line. Back to aquamarine. And I'm going to go back in with the peacock blue. And I'm just going to push it into the aquamarine a bit. Let's use a light aqua. And once you're happy with that, you can go back in with your powder blue. Now we're going to move on. So 
I'm just going to take my powder blue, clean it off, and I'm actually going to go ahead and I'm going to just quickly put a layer over all of the hair we have left. can't see this, just bear with me. So now that I'm done with that, I'm going to switch to light aqua. And I'm going to work on this whole section here, I think. These pieces are mostly going to be in shadows, so I'm not going to bother trying to save any white there. Again, I'm not being too careful with this part just because we're going to be going back over, so getting the color on nicely isn't really a priority, just getting the color down so we can kind of see where it is and just can kind of guide us to where our other colors are going to be. on to the aquamarine, which I should probably sharpen mine. And I'm just going to quickly brush away any little crown specks we have.
rotate my book a little bit here. It's a little bit more comfortable. Our shadows. Now we'll go back through our colors again. Well, my hubby got called out on a job, so that kind of sucks. I can't remember where we were here. We're doing the peacock blue. I'm just gonna start from where I think I left off. Looks like I did those.
And I forgot about that little bit, but I'll probably just color that in with the just with the peacock blue, just so it doesn't seem too dark. Okay, now to aquamarine. These little bits here, the one back here. And this one I'm going to do with the aquamarine. I think I'm going to put a little bit of touch of aquamarine here, but I'm going to try and do that with the light aqua. I'm going to color this one in with the aquamarine, I think, just to keep it in kind of a bit of a shadow from the starfish. Peacock blue, I'm just going to go in and blend a little bit more, just in areas that kind of seem to need it. So places where it doesn't look quite blended in with the aquamarine, and then places where the aquamarine kind of overpowered it a little bit.
Okay, once we're done with that, we'll switch back to the powder blue and put in our highlights and go over everything again. You guys bored yet? <laughs> Okay, so we're to the last bit of hair. I'm going to actually kind of curve it a little bit here though if I can. Or maybe, oh no, there goes my powder blue. I need like a really fuzzy carpet under my desk for when I drop this, my pencils. Thankfully, I sharpened it. It seems okay. Uh -huh. I think it would be easier to have it this way. You know what? I'm just going to try and color it this way. So... I've already gone over all of this with the powder blue, so I'm going to skip to the light aqua. And just continue with everything. Also, I have some of my lunch here beside me, so hopefully you guys don't mind if I eat while I'm recording. I just want to make the most of the daylight while I have it what little daylight we do have here in winter. Okay, so this strand here is super, super long. So what I'm going to try to do is kind of create a little bit of depth to this. So I'm going to have a highlight here. It's going to be in shadow. It's going to be a highlight, and then it's going to go back into shadow, and then right here, it's going to be highlighted again. Yeah, baby. I don't want to have nightmare. You're not going to have nightmares. What are you talking about? No. It's a kid's show. It's okay. Well, that's red. 
It's just on the show, honey. You're not gonna have nightmares. It's okay. Alright, I hope I really don't hear me. Oh. We can turn it off if you want. You don't have to watch it. Yeah, I have to watch. I better don't see that we treat me. Okay. If it gets to be too much for you, you let me know, okay? Okay. Said if it gets to be too scary, let me know. I'll turn it off for you. Well, it won't be too scary, no. Okay. Hmm. It's watching some kind of kid's vampire movie. Didn't look scary, but... Who knows? So I'm going to switch to the aquamarine. And actually, for now, I'm going to break this down into little parts. I'm going to finish this part right now. I'm going to here to include this. Okay, so I'm here, we'll switch to the peacock blue. Now we'll put in our shadows. Now we'll work our way back through. Oh, just a couple pieces here. Let's go back in with the Indian Throne Blue. Hopefully by now you guys really got the order down and, you know, with how much repetition there is, that is to say how much hair there is in this picture. Going back in with the end and throwing blue here, just a couple more spots. Um, the amount of hair that's in this picture, hopefully, you know, you really get the hang of it. Uh, it could take a little bit longer. 
a couple pictures and even then you know he might get the hair down on this picture but every picture is different so you might still struggle with a different picture. I know when I did um, the Nutcracker color along uh, it took me a little bit to kind of get in the groove for how to do that kind of hair. That was, uh, if you didn't see that, it was ringlet hair, like really tight ringlet curls. I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to color some of these in just with the light aqua. Pretty much all of these. Blue. I'm just going to go in and just gonna try and smooth these little tiny ones out a little bit. And then we'll go back in with our powder blue. Okay, so we left off with the light aqua here, so I'm going to switch to the aquamarine.
Okay, so for this strand, um, we have this one up here. That's where our shadow is going to be. So for the most part, I'm going to try and match the shadows. I'm going to make this one come out a little bit farther, though. Okay, we are so close to being done this. I'm so excited, although I still have a lot to do on this. Um, just going in with our shadows now. Better make sure that we're still recording. I think we're good. Now we'll go work our way back through for the final time. this spot here so I'm just going to go back in with the Indian Throne Blue. back to our aquamarine.
Okay, back to the peacock blue a little bit here and there. Just in some places. Okay, and took a light aqua. Tried to leave a little bit of some thinner, um, really bright highlights there, just to kind of make the shadows look a little bit more deeper. Once you're happy with that, we're going to switch to the powder blue, which I'm just going to clean off. Lastly, we're just going to go over everything, or I shouldn't say lastly, because I'm going to do one more step yet. This is completely optional. Although I do recommend it. is her hair pretty much finished. What I'm going to do now is I'm just going to sharpen my End and Throne pencil. And I don't really want to zoom in for this because I don't have to be moving my book around. Hopefully you guys will be able to see the difference this makes though. I'm just going to very carefully Try and darken up some of these lines again. Doesn't have to be perfect. If you do go out of the lines, just remember that you can kind of dilute it down by using your powder blue.
Okay, so that is her hair totally finished. I did go through and darken up uh, the rest of the black strands that I wanted. I did that off camera just because it was super boring and time consuming and this video is already going to be fairly long as it is. Hopefully uh, you'll be able to see a big difference um, with the video just kind of showing it before and after. So uh, it's definitely up to you on whether you'd want to do that. It is a little bit of an extra step that does take up quite a bit of time. But anyways, that is it for this hair tutorial. I hope it's helped you. Um, you can apply this to pretty much any other hairstyle um, in your colorings, but um, you can do it with less or more pencils and just kind of always work from your lightest into your darkest and then back again and that is a foolproof way to make sure that you get some highlights in there even if they're not as bright as your bright highlights but that will make your hair look really three-dimensional so if you were just here for the hair tutorial thank you for watching this video and if you want to continue watching the speed color of the rest of this then you are more than welcome to um, I did look at some um, color palettes here. So I found this one and I do really enjoy it. The colors aren't showing up quite right on the camera. And then I also found this one and I really like them both. I'm not sure which one I'm going to go with though. Um, all I know is that the starfish and the fish and stuff are going to be kind of orange and yellow and then she's obviously going to have her a normal skin color. I'm not sure what color to do her eyes. I'm thinking maybe green eyes and purple background but I'm not 100% sure either that or green eyes and green background but we'll have to play around with it and see. So anyways here comes the speed color. I hope you guys enjoy.
told me not to worry He said that we could pick up where we left off But all that I could think of Are your eyes so blue, your hair so soft I know that if I keep living in the past I'll never really make it back I'll never get to hold you how I meant to I'm saying hey
You've got one life to live, don't let it go So here she is finished and I'm so happy with her. I'm glad I decided to go with blue lips instead of a normal color. Um, that's actually probably the first abnormal color I've used for lips and I'm really happy that I did because you know why can't mermaids have blue lips? And it's just absolutely beautiful. It matches her hair. Um, I love adding stickles. It just gives it a really nice touch. And then the Wink of Stella with the bubbles and her lips. You can't really tell on the bubbles much but on her lips you can see it a lot more. And then that nail polish that I used for her fins, I really like that. And I went with that because it kind of had some chunky glitter in it. So it just kind of gives an interesting texture to her, um, her tail. So yeah, um, if you guys like this video, be sure to hit that like button. And if you're new to my channel and you enjoyed this video, subscribe for more. Um, I do lots of speed art and coloring videos. I do plan on doing a color along here soon. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you next time. Bye!